Hi, this is Chukam from Monis to You, and today in this podcast, we're gonna discuss about difference between a mutual fund and cheat fund. Here, we're gonna discuss and understand what is this mutual fund and cheat funds. What are their major differences, and which is better option, mutual fund or cheat fund? But before starting this podcast, if you want to read the full article, then the link of article is provided in description. Also, if you want to watch a short summary video with less than 90 seconds, then subscribe to. Our YouTube channel Monis to You. So let's discuss why it is necessary to understand mutual fund as well as cheat fund. Based on an investor risk appetite, the investing world provides various options. Some may offer a stellar return, while others may carry too much risk. In the same light, mutual fund versus cheat fund can make for a popular debate in a country like India. Both these funds are hugely popular with investor and often are compared to similar functioning. But there are a lot of differences. We gonna discuss over here so here is the first question what are mutual funds? mutual funds are a type of an investment instrument wherein a money is pooled from an institution and individual investors and then is a collectively used to invest in a various financial instrument like equities bonds money market instrument and others professional manage the corpus who have a sound knowledge of the market these funds are largely liquid and tax efficient investor can test the equity markets with a considerable risk management the entire amount that is invested is referred to as a portfolio of a fund and it is managed by an asset management company that is amc now we discuss what are cheat funds cheat funds have been used as an investment and a credit facility for a several years now in india people have run cheat funds for more than a century now they are organized either formally or informally usually in informal terms it's come with a family friend neighbor relative and so on they are called as a cheat fund chitti or kuri in different regions they have been recognized as an important microfinance instrument a cheat fund is a rotary saving scheme where a several individual contribute a certain amount periodically this occur for a predetermined period usually many months as there are number of members here a trusted organizer gather member known as a subscriber they each contribute a certain amount every month after the collection a lucky draw or an auction is held to determine who get to borrow the sum collected in the case of an auction the person who bid the lowest value for the sum collected is declared the winner then the difference between the collected and auction amount are distributed among the subscriber this process is repeated every month until the cheat fund ends for instance if there are 20 subscriber for the fund and they each contribute rupees 2000 per month the amount collected at the end of each month will be rupees 40000 if during an auction an individual bid for rupees 38000 and it is the lowest bid it means that the individual will take 38000 from the 40000 fund the excess rupees 2000 is distributed equally among the other members and each receive rupees 105 rounded and in lottery system unanimously one person go and take a name of one person and that person gets an entire amount let discuss what is the difference between a mutual fund as well as cheat funds the first difference is a method of operation in mutual fund money is pooled from investor and invested in securities on the other hand in case of a cheat fund individual contribute a certain amount to the fund each month which then is auctioned off to a one member or gets the amount with a lottery system second difference is a operated by whom in mutual fund fund house or amc or a financial institution operates on the other hand in case of a cheat fund informally a trusted person handles every operation the third one is expenses in mutual fund amc takes a certain percentage of a profit usually around 2 to 3% in india on the other hand in cheat fund organizer charge 5% or more than that as well based on a service rendered by them the fourth difference is a reason of investing in mutual fund usually to gain a higher return surplus amount is invested on the other and in case of a cheat fund a short term investment or a borrowing source consider for a cheat fund for investment the fifth difference is minimum and maximum value in mutual fund sip can be placed usually rupees 100 or rupees 500 is the minimum amount maximum there is no cap on the other hand in case of a cheat funds legally the maximum cheat fund varies according to the member of subscriber normally it is a fixed amount the sixth difference is a rate of return in a mutual fund it is not fixed based on the 
market performance and the fund manager strategy on the other hand in case of a cheat funds it varies from one to percent to another but normally an average return the next difference is a level of risk in mutual fund varying level of risk for different fund they are also are subject to market risk on the other hand in case of a cheat fund unregistered cheat funds are highly risky due to a lack of regulation there are several instances of fraud as well next difference is a maturity period in mutual fund no specific date or tenure investor can exit in the fund at any point of time investor can choose to invest for short term medium term or long term on the other hand in case of a cheat fund usually it lasts for many months as the member want next difference is a type in a mutual fund open ended as well as close ended funds are available for entry as well as exit an instrument can vary from equity money market debts and so on on the other hand in case of a cheat fund registered and unregistered these are only two types are available based on a legality next difference is a level of liquidity in mutual fund relatively high level of liquidity available tax efficiency different mutual fund have a different tax rates for short as well as long term the returns of a cheat funds are usually tax but they are must be declared while filing the return of income now let's discuss which is a better option mutual fund or cheat fund mutual fund being professionally managed may deliver a market link return to all stakeholders not just the one subscriber as the cheat fund does also it is crucial throughout to evaluate the performance of a mutual fund in the past the nature of management risk ratio other factors before selecting a mutual fund to invest there is a no clear and concrete answer for this question on which among the two is a better as it's all depends on an investor hope to achieve to investing each investment has a particular set of pros and cons associated with them an ideal solution would be to evaluate what an investor wishes to get out of an investment a sum willingness to take risk duration of investment and other key factors so let discuss what is the bottom line over here mutual funds and cheat funds through carrying a similarities in various forms are different likewise they carry a different risk and return profile the risk may be higher with a cheat fund when compared to a mutual fund they also differ on parameters of a liquidity taxation etc it is paramount to access your risk capital and only then invest in either of a scheme consult your financial advisor before investing in any such kind of scheme or fund so this is main difference of cheat fund as well as mutual fund if you want to read the full article about this in the link of article provided in description also if you want want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds then join our youtube channel monist view here shubham from monist view signing off thank you